All right. Today we'll be solving uh, area of irregular shapes of lots. And in reality, the shape of a property lot is not always a rectangle or a square. Okay, it may have multiple reference points and usually more than four points. Okay. So to solve this area, we need a reference point. We need a distance, and we also need a reference angle. So in your trigonometry, if you will recall, okay, recall your trigonometry, if you have a triangle, and say this is distance A and B, and this is your angle alpha, you can calculate the area of a triangle by taking the average of two sides, which is one half AB, multiplied by sine theta, okay? Where theta is your included angle. So this will be our uh, reference formula, okay? So in order to apply this one, we need a reference point. So in reality, not all points will be accessible. Okay, let's say point one is your most accessible point. So we will use point one as your reference point. So all we need to do is uh, to connect point one to three to form a triangle. That will be your first triangle. Then point one to four, Will be your second line okay so you have now subdivided a five-sided lots into three triangle so the next step is to uh, uh, name one two which is your line one two as your let's say this is distance x and line one three as your distance y and line one four will be distance z and line one five will be distance say w okay so if one point one is your reference point we need the included angle on this side okay say the say the included angle between x and y is we call it alpha okay included angle between y and z we call it angle P and Z and W say angle rho. Okay. So by expression, we will say that the total area will be area one plus area two plus area three. Okay. Whereas area one will be one half X times Y. This is your area one multiplied by sine alpha area 2 will be 1 half y times z multiplied by sine p okay and this will be your area 3 will be one half ZW times sine rho. So all you need to do is to add area one, two, and three, and that will be the total area. Okay, in actual practice, again, sometimes line one two two three three four and four five the distance might be given okay but the problem is the accessibility okay it's very hard to uh, put a reference point in any of this one but following what i did in line uh, in point one you can do similar thing in other reference points all you need to do is two sides and define the angle 
uh, in between, which is what we call the included angle. Okay, okay let's have another example here. Yeah. So let's say the total area is unknown. And say the given condition is, okay, the, the points around the perimeter is not really accessible. Okay, you cannot stand or work from that point, but your accessibility is you can be anywhere on the center. Say, okay, that is a center and call it point C. So by using the same principle, all we need to do is to connect uh, the points, say one to C, okay, that's your first point, then C to two, second, then C3, C4, and C5. So this will be your area one, area two, area three, area four, area five. So the next step here is to determine the angle in between, okay? So say this is alpha, theta, rho, p, and tau. So by definition, the area of a triangle is one half, two sides multiplied by the included angle. Okay. So we need some distance here. We call this A. Say so this is A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. So area one, let's use this space here. Okay. Area one will now be one half A times E multiplied by sine alpha. Area two is one half A times B sine theta okay area three will be one half b times c sine rho area four is one half c times d sine p and area 5 will be 1 half d times e sine tau. So all you need to do is to add area 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And that will be your answer. I will see you next time.